Hi, my name is Evan Nissen, and I work with Nissen Co., uh, which is a PR firm and an SEO agency. And we also actually recently started doing AI consulting as well. And I'm going to show you how I use two agents uh, and the problems they solved for us. Um, the first is a lead generation uh, agent that searches the internet and finds new and fresh leads for us all day, every day. Uh, and then the other is going to be a uh, agent that helps me with uh, pre and post call actions that I need, um, all customized completely based on my exact needs and what the client is looking for in the contents of the call. Both helped me uh, either grow, uh, expand what we're able to do as a team, or actually shrink my team. Um, the first agent uh, replaced a full team of part-time researchers with one person using AI. Uh, and the second agent uh, replaced part of one person's role who is outgoing. Um, and with that being said, uh, let's get in here. Um, so this first agent, the lead generation agent, um, I'll show you the back end, um, but this is uh, the result and what you're going to see. So every day we have new leads. Uh, you'll see uh, every tab has a different source of leads. Um, so for instance, this source uh, researches the prior news wires for industry, which is the cannabis industry from the prior day. Um, this tab looks at companies that have posted marketing related job descriptions. Um, this tab is products, news, and um, reviews related to cannabis and hemp-related products. Um, this is a new dispensaries that are opening. And all of it has the company, and it also researches the individual at the company that we want to find. And in some cases, it will also provide their LinkedIn, um, which has been a massive help for us. Uh, now we'll show you the back end. Um, so, sorry, I was just working on some improvements here. Um, so each tab that you see uh, is correlated with a different behavior in this agent. Um, and I will show you uh, some of them in case you want to set them up yourself. Um, so this is that first tab. Every morning, it does a detailed search for all the cannabis-related companies that put out press wire, press releases or news wires the day prior, and it extracts the following information and puts them on a spreadsheet, uh, on, a, on a row of a spreadsheet, um, which is the date of the release, the press release title, the press release link, the company that put out the press release, and their official website. Um, and a few tips here for if you're searching, uh, if you're going to be setting this up, rather. Uh, make sure that you create a spreadsheet template that has columns that match uh, the columns in the instructions. Um, there'll also be sometimes if, if something is in the instructions and, and the agent is not catching it, um, put it twice. Um, so as an example, you'll see a few times we say find the official website for the company, um, ensure the official website is correctly placed in column C, ensure the official website is correctly placed in the company column. Um, that's because initially um, when agents uh, first came out, uh, it was a little bit more temperamental. Uh, this was actually one of the first things I set up and we needed to do this for it to work. Um, this is less true now. It seems to be getting uh, less temperamental, um, but if this is an issue, um, my suggestion is simply to just repeat yourself and the agent is likely to uh, correct its behavior. Um, I'll show you some other ones. This is the job description finder uh, or the, the job role finder, job uh, listing finder. And you'll see I actually found the Glassdoor link that provides the search, which is for us cannabis related company marketing jobs. And then I said every other day, go here and find 25 companies. Um, and then I have one for Glassdoor, uh, a very similar one for LinkedIn, um, and I think another one for ZipRecruiter. And to read uh, the full set of instructions or, or close to it, uh, I say every day go to this page and find 25 companies that have listed cannabis job openings. Uh, then for each company, find the official website for that company and the head of the marketing head of marketing for that company. If you can't find the head of marketing, find the CEO or the president. Uh, if you're confident in the result, tell me the name only. 
if you have a medium or low degree of confidence, please keep that cell blank. And that has been one of the most useful things for us because it actually allows us to find the individual. Um, for us, we want to find marketers. So we give them uh, marketers or CMOs as the first priority. And then if it can't find a marketer, it finds uh, the executive or CEO. So this is very, very useful. Um, and I would highly recommend setting this up if you are a company that is collecting leads manually at the moment. The second agent that I think may be useful for you all is a call assistant that I set up. Um, actually, when one of our former employees was leaving, I set this up to take over part of their uh, responsibilities that they had. Um, so this person, this employee, was uh, helped me with follow-up, uh, sorry, with preparation before calls. So they put together briefing documents for me. Um, and then when the calls were over, they would do uh, follow-up emails, including proposals, and put the person on the relevant uh, in a relevant databases in the relevant in, in the proper sections in our CRMs. Um, so the first thing we do, uh, first thing we have here is a biz dev call briefer. Um, and when a Calendly call is scheduled using our Calendly link, uh, that is the trigger. And it will create a preparation document that will look similar to this. This is an example that I created. This is just a, a sample um, with my own company, so it doesn't have any comp confidential information. But you can see, as an example, I indicated on the Calendly scheduling appointment uh, link that I wanted, that I was interested in SEO. And so it told me that it's interested in SEO, and then it will look in to see how we can benefit from SEO. Um, in this particular case, I think it's a little confused because we offer SEO uh, in addition, um, but you can see that it gets great background on us as a company, um, goals that I discuss in the uh, forum, and potential talking points for us. Um, Oftentimes, I think we're less confused because we're an SEO agency. It will also look to see if uh, we have blogs and if our blogs are SEO optimized. Um, so this really truly is as good, if not better, than the human did at uh, providing briefing for me. Uh, and when the call gets scheduled, uh, this agent creates this document and then sends this document to me on Slack. And to see how it's created, um, you can see the instructions are a little wordy here, but um, you can steal it for me right here. Uh, it basically says, when a business development intake call is scheduled, use the information provided in the calendar invite to prepare a document summarizing all of the information the sales team for Dis Co, an agency that provides PR, SEO, and lead generation services will need. Please only use the information provided on the calendar invite, the potential client website, and reputable sources from the internet about them. Uh, that's very important to add. Um, because you don't want uh, the agent pulling from non-reputable sources uh, since you'll be relying on this information for the call. Um, and then I explain that its job is to help the sales to help the sales team prepare. Please provide all the information that is in the calendar invite and as much information about the company and their product or services as possible. Include why they may be interested in and benefit from the services that they marked as interested in. There is no need to include next steps or action items, but please include any additional information on why they can benefit from the services they're interested in or anything you could find online relevant to them and the services they're interested in, such as certain breaking or the last time they issued a press release. Uh, check the company's website thoroughly for a blog before stating that they don't have one. I provide examples in my Google Drive folder for Zapier that you can use as a guide, which is um, example templates we gave to it. Uh, and some of the steps here that I think are particularly important um, is a lot of this was added for a particular purpose. So um, when I started running this, uh, it kept adding next steps or suggesting next steps for me. Um, but I obviously didn't need that. All I needed was the information because I knew the next step was the call. So I added there is no need to include next steps or action items. Um, and you'll find that when you run, when you create agents, either similar, either this one or similar, or, or any other agents, um, you might find the need to uh, add instructions based on uh, things like that, little sort of quirks. Um, but anyway, they said once you have that information, uh, put a copy in my drive, title the document, uh, something. I gave it an example, uh, and then send that link to my Slack. 
included a link in the document in the Slack message. Um, and I, I said that because initially it wasn't including the link, it was only sending the content. Um, I also have it, when a call is scheduled, I also have a Google Sheet that I use um, to track my sales leads and it will add them to that as well. So it will provide a briefing for me and then add it to a tracking document. Um, when the call is over, the Fireflies transcript will get sent to this agent as well. Uh, it will review the call for uh, particular things, like if a proposal was requested, and if a proposal was requested, it will send that information and the relevant information to Slack uh, to the sales team, and it will also put them on the relevant CRM pipeline. Uh, and for that, I have this pretty simple behavior. Um, the trigger is a Firefly's new meeting, and then here are the instructions. After I have a call, look and see if the other party requested a proposal from me. If they did, add them to the prospective clients and needs proposal sphere in Relatable. Um, relatable is the CRM I use. Then also post an FY message to the BizDev channel in Slack to let them know, uh, let the sales team know that the proposal was requested and for which services. Um, and then I said, I told it to, Add posted by Zapier at the end of the message so everyone knows that uh, it was posted by Zapier, not by me. And this has been hugely helpful as well. Um, and that is pretty much it. We, this is just another CRM that we have uh, people add to. Uh, and between these two agents, it has saved us an enormous amount of time. And I wish everybody happy tooling and automations.